Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. And we think we found one of the best brunch spots here in Las Vegas. Catch at Aria. It's right off the lobby, so you get to see the beautiful decorations they have for whatever season. Let's go. We are here at Catch first time, and honestly, it looks amazing already. This place is so picture worthy. It's so pretty. Even the uh, drinks come out, and they're beautiful. Yeah, and we did end up with uh, two sushi rolls to start us off. We actually got two drinks as well. My drink is the one too many, and it is like a strawberry uh, vodka drink with some lime in it and, and some I, coconut. I ended up with the East Coast Cali, and I'm telling you, it's like a spicy margarita. It's beautiful, and it tastes so tasty. Yeah. And then we got a couple sushi rolls to start out. Yeah, so this first one, they actually brought it out, and they did uh, light it on fire, or cook the top of it. I'm Is it the assuming. Hellfire roll? Yeah. So you can see there's a little bit of jalapeno, looks like some salmon. And we'll I think it, it looks had, like crab on yeah, the inside. Yeah. That's a really good bite though. One of the big keys for me with sushi is the rice. And that sushi just goes really well. I like the uh, sesame seeds on top. It gives a nice little crunch. Can you tell anything about the being toasted? Like I don't see any much difference on it. I think it. you can. Okay. Um, so it gives that little bit of cooked texture and, and flavor to it. Okay. I do like that. And then the second one, I don't remember what it is, but it looks like, I want to say there was a little bit of spicy tuna and then oh, regular tuna okay. as well. Yep. It was one of their signature ones, I believe. And I can see right here, there is like what looks like it's going to be some spicy seasoning. So it almost looks like it's two, two different ways of spicy tuna. Okay. It's good. Super pure, very fresh. Um, like I said, the rice, perfect. The wrapper doesn't get in the way at, at all. I don't, I'm not a big fan of seaweed wrapper all the time, but I like this. And I do like the toasted sesame on top as well. And it came out fast. Very fast. And she actually did say to us that it would come out very fast. Yeah. And actually, I think I'm wrong. I think the one they torched on fire is their signature roll. And then the one she was telling me um, that she really preferred was this Well, we one will here. put it down below because yeah. we're not sure. All right, so one thing I did not notice in the, um, the two-way spicy tuna one was that there is a pear in there. And in my first bite, I did not initially get much out of it, but as you get more in the center, you definitely get a decent amount of pear, which really cuts the heat and it, it makes it, it easy to drink. A little sweetness to it. Yeah, and the one that they did light on fire was the catch roll, which is their signature one. And I, I don't this know, is great it's really sushi. good. I, yeah, this is such a great start. It's so good. All right, so Josh's entree he picked was the crispy shrimp. I'm getting better with the chopsticks. I just I yeah. had to show that off. <laughs> good job. Wow. Mm. I was Draw. thinking about this because we were actually talking to a viewer this morning about the crispy shrimp, or I think it was like slippery shrimp or slippery something like shrimp. that over at Best Friend. And so it actually made me think about it. Oh, and she's going in for a second one before even talking. <laughs> That's the best. Yeah? The batter is so light. Mm. And the flavor is just there. You know that? Um, when you find a good snack and you just want to eat it all at one time, almost like it's like popcorn. Chip. Yeah, popcorn or potato chips. You can't eat yes. just one. You can't eat just one. That's so good. That is so tasty. All right. Well, I can't wait to. It's eat got it. a sweetness and a spiciness to it. It looks good. It just is overall a really good choice. Good call, Josh. All right. And if we haven't already said it, look at this place. It's so beautiful. It is so pretty. And they're open for brunch. Yep, open for brunch. That's a key. All right, this is basically like an adult McDonald's Egg McMuffin, but it's got A5 ground Wagyu. Wagyu. And the sunny side up egg. Look at how orange that yolk is. That's like the most beautiful, perfectly round yolk. Yeah, I don't know egg what, I've ever seen. It's, I don't know what kind of egg this is, but it looks great. Like Let's I'm go ahead and staring at it. It's sucker. so pretty. 
and it's and a it nice looking salad. egg McMuffin, right? Yeah, it comes with a salad. Yeah. <laughs> and there is some cheese on it. I don't know what kind of cheese it is, though. I don't either, and it's unfortunately, white. it's a special, so I can't. Yeah, really it is find a out. special, so it's not going to be on the menu. You can smell the beef, actually, in a good way. You can. It's seasoned really well. Now. So it is not a burger. I was no. thinking it was going to be like a breakfast burger. I thought so too. It's ground wagyu, she said. Honestly, it has a really subtle hint of, of taco or Mexican flavoring seasoning on it. Yeah. With the English muffin that's toasted perfectly, the star of that dish in both the view and the taste is the egg. That egg is good? It is so good. Yeah, that's we'll have tasty. to find out where they get their eggs from. <laughs> I'm ready to eat it. All right, so Rachel said she wants to get my reaction here. Yeah, First because bite. of the flavor profile, it's so different than what I was expecting from a, what I would expect as a breakfast burger. Okay. See? I see it in your face. Yeah. Yeah. There's some heavy seasoning. It is not like just a burger. No. I don't know what all the seasoning is. And... Unfortunately, it is a special, so we don't have we don't have the menu saying what all everything yeah. is. Um, I will say the English muffin is very good; it does not take away in any way. I have not made it to yolk yet, so I'm excited to get to that. Um, it's yeah, it's very strong. Right? Yeah. I said subtle, but the more I, the second bite I ate, it is it comes out. It's pretty strong flavoring. I almost want to say it's like a Mexican flavoring of some I was going to say, look at the oil on my plate. It makes me think of chorizo. Okay, maybe that's what it is. Yeah. yeah. This place is tasty. It's got some yeah. very strong flavor profiles here. Yeah, no, I mean, it's very good. It's different than what we expected. We were yeah. expecting like just more of a classic burger with an egg on top. Yeah. What um, do you think about the yolk? Because I see you just got that bite. I think it's great. Yeah. And we got two more drinks coming. Yeah. Thank you. Mine's called the Detox Retox, and Josh's is some kind of fancy lemonade. Uh, it's called the Lush Lemonade. <laughs> I take offense to that, but I'm gonna <laughs> love it. Right, I've been ready for this one ever since we decided we we're gonna come here. This was definitely the one that we had to get. I love cinnamon rolls and look at this sucker. It's cinnamon roll pancake. You'll see some awesome uh, slow-mo footage. Our waitress did say people come back for this one. Good. So it's it's their it's one of their good ones. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and grab a little bit of almond sliver with it. You can see there's a little bit of drizzle on top. There's, we already put the um, syrup on it. Pancakes seem nice and fluffy. I really like it. Actually, the almonds, I think, make a lot of it for me. Really? Okay. Because, because just that they're little not baked texture. In. They're not baked in, which, okay. yeah, you would not like that. But, but because they're unbaked, they have a lot of crunch. Does it taste like a cinnamon roll? Because, it you know, we do like, like, I mean, we're not huge fans of pancakes, but right. we like cinnamon rolls. Now, there are three pancakes. So I'm going to go ahead and try two pancakes that doesn't have the drizzle, doesn't have the nut on it. Oh, like the, like the frosting drizzle. Right. I gotcha. Okay. All right. That tastes a little bit more like a pancake. So up on top, it feels much more cinnamon roll-like. If you start getting down below, if you're a pancake person... I wouldn't say you're gonna not enjoy this. It actually seems like it goes really well. It is very sweet. And so we actually started out by asking our waitress, if we're gonna do this, should we start it or end with it? Yeah, so if you're into pancakes, this is a great dessert. And so I would go ahead and recommend it. Right, and our waitress did recommend, like, so one of the key pieces to this restaurant, which I found was very nice when she first came to us, was saying you need to order it all at once the chef then decides how it comes out. Yeah, and they actually paste it really well. Yeah. I appreciate it, and so just know what you're going into it, and you'll be good. Yep. Now I'm ready. Oh my god. Alright, so a perk of the video. 
Um, the chef actually sent us their signature dish. It is a truffle sashimi. Um, with I, caviar with on top. caviar, there's some truffle. I don't know what kind of sauce it is. We actually don't have the menu with us right now. I you just, can see a little bit of yellowtail sashimi and some tuna. And I want you to know we went from pancakes, which we were on the verge of eating all of that. Correct. <laughs> to truffle sashimi yeah. for the ender. But I... It's a palate cleanser. Yeah, it's going to definitely be a palate cleanser. So we actually like switch, switch mode, cleanse the palate a little bit. Um, so I'm a big tuna fan. I, I, that's going to be the one that I go for here. I will say while Josh is getting ready yeah, to so take his bite. Spanish octopus here for you. We're finger link potatoes, garlic aioli, and kobayaki brown butter. I don't think I don't we ordered think that. We ordered that. Oh. Oh okay. my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. Um, All right, you guys are seeing this live in action. Yeah, there's we, some compliments from the chef of some grilled octopus which, and fingerling potatoes. I'm very excited to try that, but I'm gonna go ahead and try this caviar and tuna first. What the hell? All right. <laughs> Let me just say that, what the hell? I know. <laughs> I also am going to say while Josh is taking that bite, their drinks here, mm -hmm. we've had four of them and not one of them is a, I mean, I'd order all four of them again. Wow, okay. So sometimes I've had truffles before and I don't notice it a ton. This one actually really does. And I think sometimes it's because it's the raw shaved ones versus this is mixed into a sauce. This is much more potent. So if you're a fan of truffles, uh, you're definitely gonna enjoy this. Which if you know me, I do enjoy the taste of mushroom. I do not enjoy the texture of mushroom. So it actually is very interesting. Can I ask um, about the caviar? <laughs> so caviar, it's gonna add that saltiness to it. So you're gonna get that. Um, I'm gonna try the yellowtail right now. It's very good. I think definitely if you're coming here, you should get some seafood. Seafood is their big thing here and it and it shows. It's all fresh, it's very good. Uh, Another thing I'd like to say is Oh my this gosh, was I can't a, believe we just got octopus delivered too. Yeah, and this was a pivot for us. We had a different thing planned for Correct. brunch. <laughs> so for us to get this is just It's super exciting. It's I, exciting. Um, I can tell you like we don't do this for this reason uh, don't I no. hope people don't look at this as like us trying to like ask for stuff we're we not don't. Um, we you know, just pay for we it enjoy it and that's it. why we yeah. that's why we show you guys the receipt honestly because yeah. like we want the same experience as everyone else and we want to be able to show it to you yeah. and so I agree I love this but I also I want you to know that like we're not doing it for this reason so had we not gotten this and this that meal would still be yeah 100%. we were already talking about we how would amazing come back. it was yeah we yes. would definitely recommend this place it's beautiful it's instagrammable not only that it meets the hype of all it does, of it it does yeah um yeah we're, we're already giving away the ending so yeah. please stick around to the end and by the way if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that because we have over 100 restaurant reviews here in las vegas alone you're going to be able to see all the places before you even get here all right, so uh, dish two that was brought. Um, we have not had this before. It is the octopus, and you're gonna do the potato first? Nope. I was <laughs> trying to figure out what to, tr oh, there so it, it is. So it is octopus on potato. It is like a main dish. This is not an appetizer. So Look that's at probably that. why it has a, yeah. Nice the little chart. Sauce. Is it really? You can taste the char. It has a nice chew to it. It's not overly chewy. Um, I want another bite, but it's that sauce that sells that dish. And that we don't we don't have our menu right now. We will definitely put up here um, what Josh. the sauce is. But we actually we didn't order this one, so we weren't prepared to talk about it. Okay. Okay. I'm struggling right now because. Before we came on this trip, Josh and I discussed our top meals and top brunches oh. of 2022. Where are you going here? Brezza was up there. This might beat Brezza. Wow. This is one of the best places I've eaten at in Las Vegas, especially for brunch. It is a wide menu, which is actually very nice to see. I love the, yes, that's what I'm saying. Like, I love the true brunch aspect of having a pancake and then going to sashimi for a lunch aspect and the drinks on top of it. The drinks are very, very good. Like, this this place is going to be, it's going to be a hard call between this and Brezza for 22, 22 Which we were very, very yeah. happy with. Yeah, this is delicious. Yeah. Yikes. 
All right, so I just need to throw this in. The very surprising thing about this octopus is, like, there's such a nice, good crisp on the outside, but the inside is, like you said, it's not chewy at all, which no. is always the fear with octopus, is that, you know, the more sear you get on the outside, the more chewy it gets on the inside. But it's actually nice and tender still. And there's a sofrito sauce, is that what she said? She did, yeah. And that is really, really good. It goes great with the potatoes, which at this point we don't need potatoes, but we want to eat them because they're that good. <laughs> so, yeah, definitely two thumbs up here. All right, we're going to wrap up. I don't think we need to go super long on this one. It what was great. were we waiting for? Yeah. We actually really enjoyed it. It was so delicious. I, I love that they have a lot of their dinner specialty items here. Um, I agree. Because you know, don't go too crazy. So many dishes are very good. Um, you know, it's 10.30 in the morning, we're eating sushi. I thought it was great. I, I, I think this is a top brunch area. If you're on this yeah. end of the strip, catch is where to go. It is amazing. The food is delicious. The drinks are delicious. The atmosphere is beautiful. And the service was great, and too. And the service was yeah. on top of it. It was really good. I, You know what I really enjoyed about the service is that our waitress was able to give us something from each section yes. that she liked and then the house favorites. Correct. So it wasn't just her preferences, but it was overall preferences. And I think that sells a restaurant in itself. I think that wraps it up. That's it. If you're enjoying our videos, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All our links are down below. Thank you.